today we're at CIS in High Wycombe at the Product Proving Centre and I'm here with Neil from Walter Tools and we're going to talk about this milling demo, Neil. What we've done is pull together some of the highlights of our product programme just to sort of emphasise that we're, you know, we're pushing, still pushing ahead and uh, there's lots of new features in the programme. So uh, again, as you do, you start with a face mill. Um, these two mills we have here, one the face mill, one the high feed cutter, this is part of our new ExtraTech XT program and what we've done here is we've uh, increased insert seating surfaces, we've increased the cross section of the inserts, we're keeping the approach to the workpiece exactly the same and that just allows a much stronger tool, much more reliable, process secure, so we can really ramp up the, uh, the feed rates from there. And that's why we're single sided, 45 degree? Uh, we are at the moment, but you know, the, across the range, we've got uh, we've 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 brought this into sort of uh, our black system as well, and and really the insert. Then we talk about the insert platform because we've got our Tiger Gold inserts on that. So, WKP 35G in this case for the steel, and uh, this is the successor to um, the Tiger Tech Silver. Okay, and if we go to uh, what's obviously a, a high feed mill. Yes, uh, again, same features on the Extra Tech XT uh, platform. Uh, you can see it's a very small insert. Uh, this particular one is up to a millimetre depth of cut, but, but again, it's uh, really high productivity achievement with, uh, with this tool. Yeah, I think we went on this demo, it's eight metres, uh, obviously having eight inserts in there enables you to do things like that. Well, that's part of it. Everybody wants to go faster, uh, and it's about probably utilising the machine tool more, uh, and, and, and that's a big part of it, is uh, to do it safely, uh, the inserts, we know the inserts can take it, the steel body behind it gives it security and it's just pushing on and doing the right things for the end user. And Dave who programmed this from CIS, he was, he was blown away with these solid carbide drills, it's quite impressive isn't it? It is, DC170, it's, uh, it's a little bit different in design, it uses a coolant for stability um, and it's, that allows us to put a much stronger point geometry on, on the tool uh, for the highest penetration rate, so it's really, it's really kicking on and it's, uh, you know, we're, we're at six metres, I think, feed for, for it. Um, so it really is uh, quite a powerful tool. And it fits nicely with the rest of the range, deep down to DC-160 in our universal range, and the DC-150 in the, in the perform line. Yeah, you've got a, a large range of uh, tools, but in drills in particular, you've got, you've got dozens of different ranges, it appears. Yeah, all very specific, but it falls in with our product categories, perform advanced supreme, so you know, for the people that can't measure tool life or uh, do small batch work, the DC-150 fits very well. As I said, DC-160 is a universal range, so it covers a vast number of uh, materials, and then you get into more specifics. We've got the DC-170 and we've just launched DC-175 for uh, stainless steels. And then we've got uh, a multi-flute here as well. Yeah, MD128, <coughs> so again, keeping with the industry, the, the, you know, the theme on this type of cutter is long edge finishing, so that's where it sits, but obviously now you've got the high dynamic approach to milling with the CAM soft, software that comes out, and this is how we did the centre portion of it, um, you know, took all the material out in a high dynamic type of tool path, so here you have a, a small diameter cutter with lots of teeth in it, again, high speed, uh, low depth of cut, uh, with, uh, with a high feed or appropriate feed for chip thickness. And I don't know how much this will see on camera, but stunning finish as well. Yeah, well, the, the tool doing what it's supposed to do. So we, we've aligned it with two grades, one for steel, the cast iron area, and then a different coating for, um, for the stainless steels and high temperature alloys. Mm -hmm. And finally, looking at this thread mill, it's slightly different to many other thread mills you'll see. Yeah, this, we're quite proud of this. This is um, TC620. It's, uh, what we've done is we've, we've omitted teeth from the, from, so every other tooth is omitted to take the pressure off the cut. Uh, we have strategies built behind it for certain materials, but the idea of this is to enable to get first time thread correct. Uh, so you take the pressure off the cut, enables much higher chip load to be applied, as in a milling operation, and it brings the cycle time right down, and again, with a very, very good uh, first time thread. And this is just some of your portfolio, but in terms of your indexable and your solids and your drilling, it's vast, isn't it? It is vast, yeah. We cover all disciplines. Um, we're, you know, we're standing here talking today, and we're just on the sort of uh, the, the outside of our next launch of products, so that's coming along in September, and uh, it's just an ongoing theme. Mm -hmm. So for anyone watching the video interested in, in, in products that we see here today, or maybe something different from Malta, how do they learn more? Well, we have our technical partners that we CIS today, um, and then obviously the internet's very accessible, so all our details can be found at uh, waltertools.com.